channel my name is Kate if it's your first time here if not welcome back thanks for spending some time with me today we are gonna be doing our November monthly flip through today and if you have seen one of my videos like this before on another month you know what to expect but if you haven't and this is your first time let me kind of fill you in so we have all of our spreads for November in here including our dashboard that we set up reflection pages our monthly spread and then our four weekly spreads so today we're just going to be kind of looking back and looking at everything all together just so you can get a really comprehensive picture of what we completed what we didn't our, how our spreads came together how they all like finished and just kind of my overall thoughts for the month so let's go ahead and jump right in i feel like this month was all over the place and there will be lots to say. These videos for me are super casual and relaxed, so go grab a snack and a drink and just kind of chill out. Maybe work on your planner spread while you listen and watch today's video. So first we're going to just flip right in to our monthly dashboard. Now I always do something a little different with this, I do kind of switch this page up a bit so it's not always the same like if i just kind of flip back you can see they they change but this month we did use our um headers that come with the plum planner instead of adding in different ones so for starters my tiny win was setting up christmas i had so much fun doing that me and my husband have a lot of i guess what like i would consider griswold christmas things like our christmas is not picture perfect it is just all of our ornaments from over the years that we've been gifted or given to each other just kind of like a hodgepodge of things which I love so we set up our crazy Griswold Christmas I also got to meet my neighbors and best friends had their baby I think I've kind of been talking about that in my planner YouTube world a little bit so we got to go meet Adeline and it's just uh, newborns are the best then I've um, been trying to write something that I'm thankful for and a lot of times it does pertain to my husband just because I am super thankful for him so uh, that is usually what's on my mind so this month I was just really thankful for his hard work and handiness he just figures stuff out it's just amazing and so I was like man I appreciate how much I don't have to like stress about or think about because he handles it so I wanted to just write that down then we had some birthdays, CJ, my cousin, he turned 12 or turns 12 in about a day when I'm filming this and then my friend Caroline turned 25. We had our events, some things to remember that I needed to do and then I wrote down my favorite memories and some things that I've been praying for. These do kind of correlate to our collage. I do usually mention that like usually my favorite memories were captured in pictures and stuff so I won't go over those. We'll kind of look at those together. Uh, okay, so let's flip over now to our goal this month. So my goals have been a little sporadic. If we kind of just look back, this one was craft fair prep. We had to grow my business, uh, summer cleaning, summer cleaning because I missed summer cleaning the first time, preparing for New York. Some others were like flare up. So my goals are very sporadic and that's okay. It's whatever my focus is for the month. And so for me this month, I wanted to make sure I was enjoying the season. I do tend to be a workaholic and sometimes I don't schedule in a lot of free time. So I wanted to make sure I did that this month and boy, can I just like check this off. I did. It was a good month. I had a lot of downtime and I'm just very thankful for that. So let me just look through this list. Yeah, we did we did everything on there, which is great. And then we had some big things happening this month, craft fair, Thanksgiving, and birthdays. And that is about our monthly goals page. I had some things over here that I wrote down that I could take to have better self-care, be healthier, challenge myself, and make myself proud. And these are good, just little things to kind of keep at the forefront of your mind when you're in your day-to-day -day tasks. Um, and this is just pretty helpful. I like having that there. So my monthly spread is a little light. It's lighter than the month felt, I will say for sure. I don't think I went back and wrote anything in here. And this sticker is blank. I had it, you know, my thankful for here. 
I wrote it here and just never filled anything in and that is just some real life right there. I have lots that I'm thankful for. I should go back in before the month finishes because we're not done yet. Uh, I will do that and write in a few things. Here, let me do that now. Actually, since we just have a moment, if you can spare it. Okay, well, I would. first thing that I thought of is my little YouTube family. I really do appreciate y'all spending time with me each week, subscribing, sharing your spreads, and just getting to like be in this community. It's just amazing. What's another thing I'm thankful for? Ah, uh, yes. I mean this one. I am not being silly. Dr. Pepper. Man, I love me some Dr. Pepper. Um, I would also say I'm really thankful for <laughs> board games. Just like good quality time around board games. And then of course, my dogs, Stella and Mick, my two crazy puppies. Okay, now we have that filled out and that's just a little good reminder. So my monthly spread, we set this up at the beginning of the month. I don't use my monthly spread to go back in and add things if things change. It's really a catch-all for me at the beginning of the month. I know I say that every time we film one of these videos. I just wanna make that clear so that you know kind of why my, my monthly spread is a little more blank. It helps me just look at the month at a glance when I set up, and then when things change or get added, I do that in my weekly. So let's look to our first week. So this technically was the week of Halloween, and so I did a little bit of a mix here with my spread. We have like some fall-esque things, some Halloween-themed things, and it's a little bare. Um, sometimes if you do hang out with me here, you'll see my planner style does vary depending on my headspace for the week, anxiety, plans. I mean, it just kind of changes. And so this week for me was lighter. And sometimes you'll see like the last week of this month, it's a lot heavier. So just kind of ebbs and flows depending on kind of what's going on. So this week was the week before the craft fair. I had my first craft fair on November 5th and it was just total prep mode. It's a very, I like sigh so big because I just like remember the stress of that week that I had kind of put on myself unnecessarily. I learned a lot from that craft fair. It was so much fun, but I definitely sometimes am my worst enemy with just how, I guess, high my expectations are and my workload. So I was very overworked this week and there's not a lot written down because I was working from a daily planner. Like I, if I have a ton going on, I will just time management and like kind of block out with a visualization um, in an hourly planner or something like that, a notepad that helps me really make sure that I'm staying on task. So sometimes that doesn't get transferred into this planner. Hate it because I wish I could see everything. I want to be better about doing that. And I have a little bit of like an announcement at uh, the end of today's video that we'll go over once we get to the last spread. All right, so here is our second week of November. If you can't tell already, these are the Whimsy Lux Volume 1 stickers. She came out with Volume 2 this month. I got my hands on it, and the stickers are different. They're not clear backing. They have a white backing, so to me it's obvious that they're not the same sticker book, but I just wanted to call that out, that this is Volume 1. And I did post a review a few weeks ago on Volume 2. If you wanted to go check it out, I was comparing both sticker books, so you can see both of you want to just get a better idea of what is in both sticker books, but I will link that below if you want to go see. So this week was, I think, one of my favorite spreads. I don't know. I just always love the way the Whimsy Lux stickers look. I love how the boxes come together. It always just feels really, what's I guess, cohesive. So um, this was a great week. We had some good time with friends and I worked on getting Plan Mist together, so that is coming soon. I'm super excited. 31 days of videos in December. We're gonna try and do it. I think I can. I have to believe that I can <laughs> to make it happen. And I always love breaking up the weekends like this with the Wednesday Luck stickers, just kind of defining each day instead of it being one blob. I will say I am excited for my vertical planner for next year because Saturday and Sunday are divided up already and so I won't have to do this myself. That's probably the hardest thing that I find with my horizontal is the weekend is one box. So anyways, I like the spread a lot. It was a good week. We had some fun stuff going on, had some good downtime. Like I said this month for me is just really about downtime.
and there was lots of it and I'm so so glad okay so now we are on to week three and I used a new sticker book I had gotten from Hobby Lobby it was like happy planner uh, faith-based stickers and I love the gold foil and just the muted color schemes of these I, I really need to make more stickers with the muted colors because those are just my favorite so this week was another good week it was more light I will say as far as stickers and I was definitely working on my handwriting again y'all know I have been on a journey to get better handwriting I love stickers I love organization but I wouldn't say penmanship is like my best skill so it's a journey not a race and so I love to do this type of thing where I get out my mild liner highlighters do some bigger block letters and then just like a light loose cursive over the top I think it just looks so cute it's my favorite thing to fill space and so I tried to use more of the lines this week instead of what I usually do is like I never write on the lines I only ever write in a box so I don't know I was trying to just kind of try something out and um, write in some more notes and just make it a little more memorable so when I'm looking back I see oh it wasn't just a chill night it was a chill night home alone because Tim went hunting I watched movies and played sims so there's just a little bit more I guess um, descriptions around what I mean when I'm saying what I'm doing just for the memory keeping sake of it so flipping to the last week in November this was such a fun little spread to make I have a video coming out on day two of plan miss actually with this spread and the reason it's coming out on day two of plan miss is I filmed with a special guest and it's her birthday on the second so we had a fun little video that we did together creating our Thanksgiving spreads and you'll have to check it out it was really really fun to do planning with someone that I always used to plan with before YouTube and just kind of give you a glimpse into that so stay tuned for that I'm very excited but here is this spread I used my uh, Thanksgiving kit from my Etsy shop my business Willow Paper Design and then I also used some of the freebies that I had for November and I love this week it's full it's fun it's colorful there's lots of patterns it's very festive I just really really enjoy this week a lot you can see I used the horizontal sticker kit and these boxes are a new dimension that I made they're a little bit wider they are what I'm calling universal sizing because they fit the horizontal like this and they also fit the vertical I just like that they're a little bit bigger and wider uh, it gives you a little bit more space to write horizontally and I don't know I like it I made I kept these boxes the same size so we'll kind of see what y'all think but um, I enjoyed this kit a lot it was very fun to do and to just play around with one of my own sticker kits but um, this week was Thanksgiving and it was really a great week I worked pretty hard <laughs> at the beginning of the week getting some plan miss videos filmed and then took I guess like the second half of the week off I just spent some time with family at a few different Thanksgivings and then we had my cousin's uh, first birthday and then I had a planner date which is a little bit of a hint I guess to filming this week so it was a good week I really just felt like this was very much my style okay, so I want to show you the difference between this spread and the first week for instance so let me explain this is this was filmed and set up prior to the week starting so I put in stickers tried to leave some space for things to happen and then would also try and fill out like what I thought was happening which is how I've been planning since I've been on YouTube earlier this year and it's sort of worked however hear me out this is how I planned prior to YouTube and what I would do is I would have a little daily notebook and I would write out in the morning everything I was doing for that day tasks to do's today's events important appointments like anything like that and then what I was wanting to get done and I would do that every single day in my little notebook and then I'd write down at the end of the day just kind of like a overall thought you know I had dinner with Tim it was so much fun we got chicken express and watched a movie it was great like something like that um, or it was I was having a flare-up it was a rough day and I just need sleep like something in between those or whatever and then at the end of the week I will I would sit down 
and I would get out all my stickers and my little pieces of paper that I had been tracking everything on and then I would fill out my week after it was said and done and make it pretty like this. And it, this just was like very reminiscent to me and it reminded me how full my planner felt and just how pretty the theme felt when I did it more as, as a memory planning instead of a like pre-planning. And so I think this is what I'm gonna do going into 2023. So I got a new, well, I got too many things, y'all. I, I know I told you I've been bad. I was so bad with flown paper these past few months. They probably know my address by heart now because I've purchased so many different things. But I did get one of the undated daily planners, which I'm so stoked about. And I'm gonna be using that to kind of do this style of planning that I was talking about. So we're gonna do some daily stuff. I think I may post some of the daily um, spreads that I'm making and stuff on Instagram, but I will keep mostly my YouTube to my weekly spreads and we'll see how it goes. I just felt like this was a really good comprehensive look at the week and it really, really helps me with time management and blocking out tasks each day when I track it kind of by the hour. I have struggled more with staying focused on my tasks this year. Um, having my own business I think there's so much that I can do and want to do that sometimes it's really hard to stay on task because when I open Pandora's box, like a million ideas or things or tasks or, you know, to complete um, an order or a video idea, like there's just so many things that seem to come up and then I get distracted and off task and then I'm not really working on what I'm supposed to be. And so um, planning daily in my little planner, my daily planner has been really, really helpful. And I haven't wanted to share that on any socials or anything yet just because I was testing it out but I really think that the system will work and it would be fun to create some daily uh, not sticker kits but just some daily sticker concepts like what's the word it's not necessarily a kit but like just to have a little sheet of you know all these colorful headers or here's all the things that would be helpful for my daily planner so it's just fun for me too because it opens up another world that I can create stickers for and that's really my passion. I just love creating, so I'm very excited about that. But that's kind of my announcement. I hope everything is okay. I think I talk about this in my December 2nd video that's coming out too on day two of Planimus, but just know I may <laughs> be saying this twice and just wanted to give you a heads up and kind of see what your thoughts are on that. I think the spread looks more comprehensive for you because you, know, you want to see kind of how everything comes together. I know that you don't necess necessarily uh, care about when I'm doing laundry and stuff so it just feels like it's a little more cohesive for you uh, so anyways I just wanted to lay that out there I feel like I've just been talking about that for a minute so let's move on I tape these pages together because man y'all know you have the double weeks in plum so I am using the first week of December in December not in November so I taped it together always a mouthful <laughs> okay so now we are to the last two pages of November, we have our November collage and we have the second half of our November reflection. I think I got stuff on my hands. So my collage, I did switch up a little bit this month and let me show you some of the previous months. So usually my collages have words on them. I will like type in, um, I have a little ed editable Canva template that is available on my Etsy too if you wanted to create this for your planner, but I usually will type in like something around the theme of uh, the pictures and I decided I know what the pictures are about. Like I think I could just remove the words and put uh, more pictures in or just make the collage look a little nicer. And so I decided that I would try that out. I know I'm just like trying so many new things before the year ends. I think I just am trying to get a good idea of what I want to do in next year's planner because I'm excited for it. So. Anyways, we've got all of our pictures for the month, so let's just kind of go through what some of these big moments were for me. And I thought this would be fun just to put like a little header in the middle and it says November behind it and then it says behind the lens. So this is me and my hubby at my craft fair that I had on November 4th. That was really, or November 5th. That was fun. We have some fun videos coming out in Plan Myth just talking about how the craft fair went, my overall consensus and do's and don'ts. <laughs> so stay tuned. And then I did decorate my office and our house, just kind of Christmas everywhere. 
This was from Thanksgiving. My husband, his brother, and his cousins, I just thought it was so cute. They were accidentally wearing the same shirt in different colors, and it was funny. If you follow me on YouTube, you know that I, not YouTube, on Instagram, you'll know that I found the most perfect, amazing, my nails are chipped, don't, that's just me, but the most amazing, um, what's the word? My brain is not working. Nail tech. Oh my gosh, thank you. And I love her so much, so I'm just like excited. I had to take a little nail picture. I started doing gel instead of dip. Not that you need to know, but if you're curious, because you do see my nails all the time, and I try and keep them nice. Um, uh, here is Stella having a big old nap on her bench and Michelob, and then just some other fun stuff. Like I said, Caroline's birthday, and then business stuff and surprise flowers. So I love the collage. It's such a fun way to store all of your memories. You'll never forget it, and it's just it just it's right there. I mean, it's my favorite thing. Pictures are my favorite thing. It just captures the moment so well. Yes, I think you need to live in the moment, but I also think it's okay to pull out your phone and take a picture so that you can freeze time right then and there and have it forever. Moving on now to our reflection. Now this for me is a little bit all over the place and this is a page that I won't have going into next year because I'm gonna use the page that comes with the planner. This was like an add-on that I had and it was a whole thing. And I'm gonna switch it up a little bit too. I'm working on some stickers to make a currently page. It is kind of like this, but it's just a little bit more detailed and it's something I used to do, I don't know. I'm just like really trying to bring it back some of the things that I used to do. And I think I'll have room in my new planner. So we're gonna do like a currently page with like the reading, watching, eating, snacking, loving, like you know that one, I love those. And I'm gonna make the currently page match the monthly kit that I'm working on. So I just feel like it will be really comprehensive and just fun to see. I love looking back at my currently pages from my college planners and stuff because it's fun. Like, you know, eating ramen, of course, studying for blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't know, it just really, really brings me back to the time period. So here we have our wellness scale and it's been a pretty decent month my energy, fulfillment, health, everything has been up. What do you know? When you take time off, <laughs> your health does not deteriorate. That's so crazy. What a crazy concept for myself. Um, so some things I started, Christmas shopping, getting my gel manicures. I didn't necessarily finish anything. I thought hard about that one. Like, sure, I've finished sticker kits. So I did the laundry. Like, I've finished things, but nothing substantial enough to put here. So I kind of left that blank. And then some of the... the top three things we've did, places we went, foods we ate, and things I read or watched. So my overall uh, most memorable part of the month, I kind of wrote here, just to say it so you don't have to read it, is I didn't necessarily have one big moment of the month. We had lots of big moments this month, from the craft fair to Caroline's birthday to Thanksgiving with family and friends, and then my friend having her baby. Like, they all felt very big. It was just a pretty big month overall and lots of relaxing, so I just couldn't think of one, and I just wanted to kind of um, put that there and say, you know what, it was a good month overall. <laughs> there was a lot that went on. And then, just so you know, just to be totally transparent, this is the back of the reflection page, and I never use it. Now, the reason really is my monthly goals aren't usually goals that are continuously going um, from month to month. So this page is more about like, how can you succeed better? How did I succeed? How can I improve next month? Steps to reach improvement. And my goals are usually a little more small scale. And so I don't usually use this. And then this was an add on that I added on <laughs> and it's about cleaning and I don't use it. <laughs> I, I never use it. I think I got add-on happy. It was my first plum planner and I just went kind of berserko. I didn't get any add-ons for the 2023 planner. I learned my lesson. I think they're great. I think the add-ons are so much fun. I just, I'm not as committed to them as I thought I would be. They make so many amazing ones. Um, when I have kids and when I'm pregnant, like I think they have some really good add-ons for that. I have this my home add-on back here, but I just don't, I don't use it. I don't know. I mean, I thought I was going to be the add-on girl and I'm not. So anyways, that is November. I'm happy to close it up, put a bow on it and move on to the most jolly festive month of the whole year. I'm very excited for December and I just want to say thank you for hanging out with me and for we're almost coming up on a year on YouTube. 
which is just making me feel really, really sentimental. So for all of you that have been here since the beginning, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for letting me change and evolve and for sticking around throughout my entire year of planning. I mean, you guys have been here through it all and that's just amazing. And to those of you who have recently subscribed or are considering it, thank you so much. It really does help out my channel a lot. We are on our way to the uh, YouTube Creator Award program at a thousand subscribers. We've got some big giveaways planned for then and it just really does mean a lot to me that I have found people in the world that understand my hobbies because sometimes trying to explain this to people is very difficult. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you very soon. We have one more video coming out setting up the month of December before we dive into plan miss. So buckle up. We are going to be seeing a ton of each other and I've been working so hard on my content for December. So I really hope you enjoy it. And if you do, please let me know. <laughs> All right. Have a great day. Bye y'all. Happy planning. Mm -hmm.